Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video, it's going to be me and Pitbull versus Ragab Abu Suleiman and CX Spark. Now, the map of choice will be H Island and before we start, please do give this video a thumbs up or a like and of course, a subscribe to the channel would be phenomenal and of course, turn on the notification to all notifications so that you will not miss an upload or stream from my channel. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Okay, here goes. Alright, so <clears throat> I'm going to be the blue player and Pitbull will be the green player. And as you can see, he will have a construction yard near the ocean. So, of course, there will be a shipyard right there to gather the containers. And I, of course, will have to skip the uh, ocean since I have z almost zero upgrades on my navy except for my delta. Okay, here goes. I'm going to have to gather the containers. And I got like pretty much uh, two containers or three, rather, three containers only. Okay, and my uh, opponent knows that I have weak uh, assaults, and as you can see, those uh, riflemen are like dominating my uh, assaults, as can be seen right there. I need uh, plenty more assaults to get rid of the riflemen, which is not right due to uh, upgrade differences. Okay, here goes, and as you can see, there's like tons of riflemen from... Wow. <laughs> Okay, from the yellow player and are going after me as you can see that's just uh, Going for it. They they totally know my weaknesses and are exploiting it at their you know at their best And as you can see m that bunker luckily finished up for me Hence it'll help out with the defense as you can see that one bunker are actually doing its job and the help from pitbull right here made me uh, Have a stable comeback at the very least for the time being Okay, now we're gonna have to fast forward a bit. Let's see what Pil Pitbull is doing. Okay, he has one rocket tower right there, two bunkers, and are now going HQ3. And uh, actually managed to uh, gather a bit of containers, or actually a decent amount of containers here on, uh, on, my, on my end. And onto his side, he actually managed to collect all containers. Now I got like three bunkers right here, one bunker right there to help out with the defense. Now, I'm starting to somehow stabilize my base until Douche showed up. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna be a big problem for me. Since, you know, like, I got like a not maxed out bunker armor and HP, and as well as the damage. Okay, now my assaults are actually good. You know, on paper, it's supposed to be good versus great ears, but not that many. I have. Not maxed out assault. Good thing that uh, Pitbull is actually here to help me out with the defense. Although those Gradiers uh, came with some riflemen here from the yellow player. So it's going to be attack. It's an attack coming from the red and the yellow player. Okay, so they are going to have to attack me. Hence, I will have to build my barracks right there. Since I'm expecting these two barracks right here to be destroyed. Okay, and uh, again, another bunker will be built right there. I cancel the assaults. Uh, being produced by those two barracks since I don't want to lose my resources for those. Avia Factory uh, being built right here. Alligators from the red player. Wow. Okay, so I'm in so big trouble right now. And as you can see, Pitbull is somehow going over here in terms to uh, help me out, of course. That power plant will go down. And uh, let's see what will happen here. There's like tons of grenadiers still below the cliff. And that power plant went down as expected. And they're now aiming for my uh, construction yard and they changed target over to my bunker which is actually quite good since bunkers are literally dead versus uh, grenadiers or anything like that. Any form of infantry except from snipers. Okay, there goes. I'm gonna have to use gold defense boost. One bunker again. Finished the uh, building right there. And they're gonna have to get rid of that bunker right there. So low on HP. Okay, managed to defend this very nice indeed and saw that there's like reinforcement coming from the yellow player right over there Again, Pitbull is sending me help by uh, assaults and fortresses which are actually quite good versus what the enemy has Oh, and a very good scout right there Coming from Pitbull using that one deltas to somehow uh, to somehow scout what the red player has now, due to that uh, rush that they did, three uh, barracks right there, producing non-stop grenadiers, uh, it also held back uh, their uh, base development. However, he has alligators here, which I'm already expecting to be uh, knocking at my doorstep around here. 
Hence, I will need Zeus to somehow, you know, to somehow help out deal with that. Okay, now let's see what will happen here. There's actually no scout yet from the uh, yellow player to see what he has. Vertex are already out from Pitbull. Okay, so the craziness somehow stopped for a moment right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to produce some assaults, of course, to somehow reinforce my base defenses. And here goes the scout, still level 2 HQ. Okay, getting rid of that one anti-air would be phenomenal since there's only one anti-air for the time being. Second anti-air is almost done. Oh, it just uh, finished building. Okay, come on, dude. Oh, no, destroy that. Okay, one uh, porcupine popped out out there. Come on. Nice. Okay, however, the exchange of one vertex due to low HP. Okay, now let's see what will happen here. Okay, I informed the Pitbull to have at least one infantry right here for us to know if, you know, if the red player is up to no good or the yellow player for us to know if there will be an attack and Wow, so there's like armadillos here graders and riflemen uh, That are actually above this clip right here more onto my side And so as you can see second vertex is about to be produced and vehicle factory is being upgraded to level 3 for me to have Zeus Okay, so Pitbull does have a decent defense with one rocket tower and three bunkers right there to zone out any infantry. And of course, the, the uh, rocket tower are for those armadillos. Now, three vertex is also uh, out there. Second vehicle factory from uh, Pitbull. So yeah, we're gonna have to fast forward a bit. Okay, first Zeus are now in production. I got like uh, a bit of an assault. Okay, those um, vertex are like trying to roam around. Okay. Oh, ho, and saw that this uh, red player is also going for Avia right here, which is actually quite good. Okay, what a good, good idea from the red player. So we're going to have to fast forward by it a bit yet again. And those uh, one alligator has been um, discovered here by that one Imba assault. Okay, and as you can see guys, I'm also positioning some units uh, you know, around the center of the map. More onto my side so that of course I will know if there will be any pending attacks. And come on dude. You don't really have to go that far in terms of attacking those uh, alligators. But he did, so never mind. Okay, got like uh, a bit of an assault right there. Some forces from Pitbull are also here to help me defend my base. Okay, because my buildings are not really that upgraded when it comes to the armor and the HP. Well, the HP is quite decent, but the armor is non-existent. Okay, Pitbull again going for the uh, yellow player's base. Okay, let's see what he has. Mm -hmm. So there's actually uh, a solid defense here from the uh, yellow player. And some gr uh, great deers are here to help also help out with the scout. Positioned my uh, Zeus right there. Okay. To help defend. And let's see now what I'll do. I'm going to go on ahead and get rid of that uh, Avia Factory to somehow, you know, Prevent this right player from having any uh, hawk since my anti-air is weak. So I will not, um, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> give trouble to uh, Pitbull when it comes to defending me versus air. So I'm going to have to sacrifice all my vertex because of the lag here. Makes me, uh, you know, it made me had a, a very, very bad micro. And, oh man. Was not able to deal with it. However, Pitbull is going to go ahead and follow it up with his vertex. Let's see if he can pick it up. Nice pickup right there. However, the exchange of one vertex. Oh, you have got... Oh, man. Okay, so two vertex were in vain out of that Avia factory, which is not, you know, not a very good deal when it comes to that. Okay, and as you can see, my Avia factory doesn't have a single armor upgrade. Okay, there goes. That one hawk that was produced by the uh, red player is going to be used for scouting, which is uh, very, very good. Hammers and uh, assaults are here with some heavy assaults. Okay, so nothing crazy. I just had some Zeus right here since I'm expecting there will be alligators that will be visiting my, uh, you know, this side right here, my base. <laughs> okay, now I'm actually saving for an HQ4. However, I think those alligators cannot wait any longer. They're going to somehow swallow my base or are going to try to swallow my base. Okay. Pitbull going level 4 HQ amongst all this. He has another construction yard right here to expand his base. And uh, let's see what's going on here. What will this be? Will this be another bunker? Or a rocket tower? Okay, I think it's going to be a rocket tower. And here goes those. Uh, that one hawk right there still revealed that my Zeus are actually near the shore. 
Okay, I'm also going level 4 HQ amongst all this. Okay, so no nothing crazy so far just yet. So both, uh, all players are macroing up their base. Okay, oh, here goes. Alligators uh, showed themselves up. I'm gonna have to use common attack, uh, attack boost to somehow enhance the uh, range of those Zeus. <clears throat> okay, but we all know that Zeus has... Uh, you know, inferior range to that of the alligator because a naval strike boost can simply enhance this, the uh, range of those alligators to more than that of the Zeus. Okay, there goes, and... Wow. <laughs> okay. But I think that one grid here was damaged with the Vertex. Okay, special vehicle factory there for a shield generator. Of course, I'm gonna have to need that since there will be uh, chameleons in this battle. And as you can see, all players was able to macro their base, however, this uh, yellow and this guy right here still has HQ3 HQ from the last scout. And I'm using gold recovery boost to recover the HP of my Zeus that was bruised up by those alligators. Okay, I'm gonna have to upgrade that for a shield. Let's see what Pitbull is doing. Okay, and uh, here goes. Those alligators are going after me, uh, my Avia factory, which is not actually a bad thing to do. Okay, however, sacrificing the alligators worth of 390 resources for an avia factory, which is so totally weak, is not a very good trade. Okay, there goes another alligator, and yeah, man. Okay, so that alligator is focused firing on that one barracks. And wow, how did this hammer got there? In Buppet Bull, man. Okay, so one hammer managed to... Oh my god, <laughs> managed to get past the defenses or whatever, you know, he was able to go above the cliff and scout the yellow player's base and saw that there's still level 3 HQ. Okay, now still using a gold recovery boost to recover the uh, HP of my Zeus and I'm gonna have to reconstruct that AV factory because I need vertex for at least a scout. But I'm not going for, uh, you know, more than 4 vertex here, I'm going for full land army composition, more on the land than that of the air. Okay, now, ooh, wow. So Pitbull is going for a level 5 HQ amongst all this. Let's see how this goes. Okay, Hawks are still trying to be annoying from the red player because uh, we haven't destroyed that yet. Okay, nothing really, really crazy so far. Okay, so yellow player is on the move out now. Scout from the uh, red player saw that the uh, HQ5 is ongoing. Okay. And mm -hmm, that one hawk will now finally meet its demise. Or will it? Really? <laughs> what a ninja hawk. Okay, so there it goes. And ooh. Okay, so Jaguar's Porcupine's Armadillos are moving over to my side from the yellow, uh, from the yellow player's uh, base. And as you can see, uh -huh, they're already here. Now, let's see if the red player will also do the same thing. There's actually no scout here below the cliff over to the middle side of Pitbull's uh, location. Now, as you can see, Pitbull managed to somehow, or sent his army over to my base to reinforce it, reinforce it with my uh, with defenses. Now, I'm going to have to uh, move my Zeus into a defensive um, formation, and I got like a scout right here to see if there will be any shenanigans of an attack coming forward. And... Wow, space system gonna be built from Pitbull, and he does have a Zeus now with the level 3 vehicle factory, so Zeus are now gonna be on the way. Okay, so yellow player, and I, I believe the red player is also going over to my base, hence I'm gonna have to make this opportunity to uh, have my Zeus into a battle formation. First shield generator is now, or actually second shield generator, has now been uh, in, in production, level 4 HQ. From the red player there are actually there's actually walls oh and some red players are here with that scout that giving it away okay and so pitbull will now have to retreat as i can actually defend this position right here this army from the red player is pretty much dangerous as there's like tons of jaguars and porcupines here with mammoth and chameleon now i'm gonna have to try my best to somehow deal with that uh with that chameleon, however, I think it's not going to be enough, and it lived to see another day. Pitbull will not have to retreat, and as you can see, guys, we're trying to somehow, you know, like, play a game of chess here, 
So it's like whack-a-mole, whack the army of the uh, yellow and red players base. So technically the yellow will be attacking my side and the red will also attack uh, Pitbull. Yeah, will attack Pitbull. Okay, now there goes. I only have one vehicle factory right here which will actually uh, give me a lack of, um, you know, Zeus production which I really need. Okay, and at this point, yes, they, this happened on stream and CX Spark was watching the stream. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's see now. Space system is now in production. That one... Oh, my Vertex died before it, ac it can actually deal some damage versus that Chameleon. And as you can see, I'm going to have to somehow help out Pitbull with the defense. However, I need some scouts right here to see if the yellow player will go over to my base and attack me while my army is gone. Okay, so as you can see, I got like most of my units going over to this bridge right here, over to Pitbull's base. The yellow player did not attack my base, instead rendezvous with the red player's army and are going to attack uh, Pitbull with this uh, ton of army right there. There's like actually a ton of uh, lo land uh, vehicles right there. Rocket Tower went down, this Rocket Tower is still uh, sniping or... Having a clean shot right there for free. There's only one chameleon here at the moment. And here goes my reinforcement are now go are now arriving just now. Let's see what'll happen here. Vertex are like trying to desperately defend. However, it can't really do that much due to that one chameleon. However, it's still trying to damage that one uh, mammoth right there. Here goes my army. Let's see how this goes. And I got like a small uh, window right here, which is not good for a very, you know, which is not a very good engagement for me since the Jaguars has a very good concave right there and are firing at my Zeus right here. Oh man. Okay, still, ooh, nice pickup right there with those rocket towers. Okay, let's see if I can do some damage right here. And yep, I'm gonna have to aim for that one chameleon. However, thanks to the super massive lag. I, it was not possible, and yes, I was able to snatch it after those uh, uh, Jaguars dealt a ton of damage, but as you can see, there's like tons of Jaguars right here from both the yellow and the red player. Oh man. Okay, so I managed to somehow deal with the Chameleon and some Zeus, or actually some Jaguars with my Zeus and the shield and uh, from the vertex of pitbull however there's still a lot that remains and i'm gonna have to retreat to salvage this three zeus that i had over there and i'm gonna have to reproduce my army as fast as humanly possible and as you can see adding more vehicle factory for a faster zeus production gold vehicle uh production is now gonna be used again oh man i think they they're still gonna go at it with those many Jaguars, it can actually take on three Rocket Towers if they are properly microed and are nicely positioned. Walls are going to be built right over here to, see, to of course, uh, impede the attack and prevent them from going above the cliff. Now, wow. <laughs> okay, a Space Strike just hit the Yellow Player's base and it was cleaned up. So, you're going to be back from the Stone Age, Mr. Yellow Player. And my Vertex right here are going to have to rain rampage over those Jaguars since there's no Porcupines to zone in out. And again, reinforcements are going to be coming in from my end. There's like tons of Jaguars right there. However, I got like only three Zeus here at the moment. Two more are going to be rejoining them. Let's see if they can deal some damage here. There's only that one cell entrance right there from above the cliff. And two Zeus coming from Pitbull which are going to seal the deal out of those Jaguars from the Red Players the, uh, unit uh, army. There goes. Man, what an amazing defense right there. Amazing defense. <laughs> okay, Torrents are here as well. Okay, so yeah, that just happened there, man. That was crazy. Okay. So, I still have some units right here. Scouts are not seeing any uh, impeding attacks over to my base. And as you can see, got like one vertex right here for scouting purposes only. Alright, so Pitbull will now will not be reproducing the uh, nuclear or the space system just yet or the space strike just yet. Oh, and saw so that there's like tons of alligators from the yellow player. There's like a shipyard right there. Hence, that one able platform is now going to be built to somehow defend it. Let's see. Man. <laughs> that is so crazy, man. Okay, now let's see what will happen here. Pitbull will now be adding more naval platforms. I think it's going to be too late. Those alligators are already here. A scout from their red players. Base saw four vehicle factories. 
Level 5 HQ. But instead of a nuclear, it's going to be a vehicle factory maxing out Jaguars to throw at either me or Pitbull at this point in time. And it's going to be seen. Those alliers are like uh, trying to desperately destroy those naval platforms, which are finishing up one by one and are now going after the nearly finished the naval platform. One naval platform will fall. Oh my god. Okay, that one rocket tower is having a free hit right there, but it's not gonna last for long as the alligator gets, gets uh, you know, gets closer to the, to the rocket tower. And let's see here, that one shipyard is actually very clever, so it can actually absorb the salvos of those alligators, preventing any damage from the buildings. A bit bull, very good. Okay, still on my end, there's gonna be non-stop unit production, and as you can see, it got like five, ten, twelve. Zeus right there with three shield generators with three vehicle factories but I'm still outperformed by this red player because of four vehicle factories and as you can see one Viking is now under production or yeah it's in production just now popping out one able platform second able platform they managed to somehow get rid of the power plant right there let's see if this Viking can change the tide however it's I highly doubt it those Zeus and Torrent are now catching up to the Vertex. My Vertex are catching up to the Alligators. My Vertex went down. Oh, man. Okay, they managed to get rid of that airfield from Pitbull. Let's see. No space system or no space track being produced just yet. And, oh, you need to cancel that shipyard. Okay. However, those Alligators uh, did not continue firing at the shipyard just now after the cancel of the Viking. Oh, man. Okay, one able platform managed to save the day and finished up on time to clear up those remaining alligators from the yellow player. Wow. Okay, now let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna have to try and scout. Let's see if there will be any nuclear or any form of super weapons from the red player. Yellow player managed to make a good comeback. However, Pitbull is now saving for another super strike or super weapon, su space strike. Ooh, that's a ton of army right there. My god. Okay, I got like a, a good formation here of Zeus. I got like 14 Zeus right there in total. Okay, and more are in production as you can see. Third vehicle factory are now going to be upgraded. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, additional naval platform here to ensure the safety of this side. To prevent any further damage from any alligator shenanigans. Okay, they're going to attack me. Be ready. Alright, bro. I'm sure we'll be ready for that. Okay, I sent some scout over here to see if there will be any pending attack from Pitbull. Yellow, or actually the red player is trying to somehow sneak past here. And they know, for whatever reason, they know that I have an army right here. Okay, they're now going after, or now crossing this ridge right here. Over to Pitbull's side. However, I'm going to have to chase them away. Gold scouting boost is now going to be used. And as you can see, this will actually make my Zeus faster than that of the noble attack boost. Okay, let's see how this plays out. Okay. Oh, they managed to retreat and are now going back above the cliff. Let's see how this will go. Okay, I my Zeus are somehow super smart because of the path finding. Oh, my shield generator is exposed. Okay, I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, ma control that properly to not lose it. Okay, one Jaguar has been seen right here. Okay, one Chameleon is right there. So this red player can either go over here and attack my base without any defenses with just two Zeus or he can just uh, simply hammer my uh, Zeus from below the cliff or I can simply attack the red player over here and destroy his base <laughs> okay let's see how this will go okay still one Jaguar is there okay red player hesitated because I got like this solid Zeus chunk army right there and I'm gonna have to force fire around that cliff let's see if I can get rid of the chameleon oh nice oh tons of jaguars lost right there okay and still a ton of jaguars are still inside the fog however those uh porcupines are going to be forfeited and as you can see bam chameleon imba yay <laughs> okay i still got tons of remaining zeus Oh my god, I, got, I still got a ton of Zeus for you remaining here in my end. I lost no shield generator out of that exchange. Let's see how this will play out. And I'm gonna have to scout the yellow player's base. And wow, and now space system is now gonna be is now in production. And yellow player are like scrambling over 
to cross this bridge over to the red player's base. The red player is in trouble and I'm gonna have to do my best to dish out damage from this guy right here. There's like great gears. Okay, so this barracks was somehow useful and their gears at high ranks are actually used the same way for desperate measures only. Okay, and as you can see, I got like my shield generator covering up most of my Zeus and are in a good position or out of range of those Jaguars. Let's see if I can deal some damage here. Yellow player is about to arrive over to the red player. Uh, yellow player is about to arrive to the uh, red player's base. Oh man, this will be a big hit right there. Pitbull is just uh, defending his base right there because he's going for a space strike. Okay, so he's saving resources. Okay, I'm gonna have to retreat. Okay, since the army has arrived here from the yellow player, however, reinforcement here on my end. Space strike is now on the way. To less than 15 seconds to, uh, to strike. Okay, I'm gonna have to retreat and wait for that space strike to have a blast. And then I'm gonna have to return here with my reinforcements. Let's see how this will play out. And... BAM! Massive damage right there. And uh, let's see if it if it did uh if it destroyed a lot of units along the way. I'm pretty sure that it did because the uh, red player is camping over to his base for the defense. And I'm gonna have to move forward for the attack and finish the deal right there. Okay, let's see how this plays out. Oh man, what a crazy battle right there. <laughs> okay. So Let's see. So there's no resistance. Me going above the cliff. There's no whatever thing here to actually uh, detest or contest my units. Yellow player is just now going to somehow help out the red player. However, those Jaguars are without a chameleon. Oh my god. And that's not going to do a thing versus... Versus my army. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm, not, I'm now going to use a blue scouting or blue boost right here to somehow finish the deal. And as you can see, ah, one Zeus got picked up because it, it's badly boosted up. But yeah. Okay, HQ has now been destroyed. There's actually no hope for this red player ever coming back into the game since I got like tons of this army right here, which will now deal with the red player's base right now. Oh man. And again, another space system is now in production. Will this red yellow player even survive another space strike? Yes, bro. GG. You did very good. My god. Imba support from Pitbull right there. I gotta admit, you know, that was one of the best hits right there. One of the most solid hits that I've ever seen. Solid hits right there, man. Okay. So again, as I clean up this base, non-stop. Or actually, not non-stop, but... Vertex production. <laughs> I've already got like almost full command points at this point. Um, consisting of Zeus. Wow. Okay, and again, we're just gonna have to clean up this base right here. Okay, fast forward a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna have to scout the uh, yellow player's base to see if there will be any pending attacks. There's actually like an alligator that was seen right there. Sneaky alligator. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. Okay, we're actually two alligators. Scout right here. There's like gun towers there. Six gun towers in total. Anti-air. But that's not going to matter. When this space system hit this mark, it's not going to be... <laughs> it doesn't matter if you have tons of gun towers or tons of anti-air. Nor tons of everything. It does not matter. Okay, here goes. Red player's base has now been cleaned up and are now going to be bombing this yellow player's base yet again and BAM! My god! Solid hit! Satisfying, man! Super satisfying! Okay, so my Zeus right here is now going to somehow uh, gather up as you can see got like 6 Zeus pending right there but the gun towers here are still there, still present okay there's like 4 of them right there with a the power plant okay now that one HQ I think it's gonna have to fall Okay, now let's see. I'm gonna have to fast forward a bit as those uh, alligators are like trying to deal with that space system. However, it's gonna be too late. Regardless if you deal with the space system or not, the damage has already been dealt twice. Oh my god, there's no coming back from this game right now. Walls are still here to somehow impede my attack, but I'm just gonna have to force fire on those walls. And there's no HQ, meaning those walls cannot be rebuilt. Okay, let's see how this plays out. Um... The army from Pitbull is now uh, lounging over here to attack the yellow player. Let's see. Okay. Okay, there's like gun towers right there. Ooh. 
Gun Tower Imba. Gun Tower Imba. Uh. Gun Tower Imba. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So for a moment there I wanted to check the uh, Gun Tower's damage with my shield. Okay. Mm, impressive damage. Yeah. Gun Tower Imba. Oh, there goes. Okay. Mm. Moment of silence for this for this gun tower who's trying desperately to destroy my Zeus. Oh my my shield, no! Okay, there goes. Okay. So yeah, the damage is quite good when it's not without or it's actually without a shield. But with a shield man okay so let's see here that okay ah oh, my god the shield damage bro i mean the, the gun tower damage is ridiculous at this point in time when there's like a shield present it the damage is almost non-existent look at the damage right there that gun tower targeting is super smart okay Look at the damage, man. How many salvos will it take? How many reloads do you have to make? Okay. One. Two. <laughs> Three. Okay, so he has to... <laughs> My God. That's just phenomenal, man. I mean, the damage. Just look at that. Okay, and at this point in time, Pitbull is just going for a contract. And I think that's going to be like Poseidon's or Delta. I'm not even sure at this point in time. But there's like alligators here for the yellow player, which are like going to deal with my uh, with my army right here. Which I'm literally, uh, you know, I'm obviously not attacking that one gun tower because I was testing the damage of it with versus a shield with a Zeus. So it's not really that good. Okay, not really that good, guys. Not really that good. Oh, man. Just look at the damage. Ah, never mind. So, technically, the yellow player will just now destroy his base. He succumbed to his fate that this battle has been won by me and Pitbull. And at this point in time, it's going to be victory. victory. There it goes. All right. Well, if you'd like the video, please do give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification to all notifications so that you will not miss an upload or stream from my channel. Might as well go ahead and visit Pitbull's channel. The link is in the description below the stream. He released two new videos, two new epic battles right there that you guys may have to munch on. Now, this he is a Confederation player, by the way. And he's my infer inspiration for playing for the Confederation. So, yeah. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts into this video? And don't forget to check out my previous videos and Pitbull's videos. The link is in the description below this video. And again, likewise, thanks for watching. Have a great day and good luck with your battles. Bye now.